Right now, the Encinitas City Council is meeting to decide if it will declare a local emergency on e-bikes and set new rules for them. They're a popular way to get around town, but serious accidents are happening more often. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes is live in Encinitas tonight with what else the council wants to do. Kirsten. Yeah, we are about five minutes into that city council meeting and that emergency declaration is for bikes, e-bikes and any other motorized mobility device. The goal here is to keep the streets and the e-bike riders safe. A lot of those riders are kids and this comes after year after year of more accidents happening in Encinitas on e-bikes and a 15 year old was killed last week while he was riding an e-bike. Mostly like I'm concerned for the safety, so we got to do something. Alyssa Berman says she's seen exactly why it's time to crack down on e-bikes in Encinitas. I cannot believe how crazy it's been with the e-bikes. First of all, you feel like it's dangerous. They're going too fast. You're worried about the kids that they're going to get into accidents. They're not obeying the traffic rules. They are a motor vehicle. Trey Rondo and his friends were riding their e-bikes through downtown. Trey says he loves riding his e-bike and he appreciates some of those rules. If you ride without your helmet, that's pretty stupid already. I've had friends killed without their helmets. So I, I understand that rule. That's a force rule that I will agree with, actually. If people disagree, I'm sorry. Riding against traffic, that's always a bit dangerous, especially at night, right? At night's pretty dangerous also. I don't think we're going to be allowed to ride with two people if that's the rule that they're changing. I've, just, I've heard a lot of rumors about what they're doing to the e-bikes. A 15-year-old died after being hit by a van in Encinitas while riding an e-bike on Thursday, adding to fears of lack of safety. All cyclists, e-bike riders included, are subject to the same rules of the road as drivers behind the wheel of cars. The problem here is a lot of e-bike riders aren't old enough to drive and don't know the rules of the road. That's why the city is considering mandatory classes for first-time violations. I really hope that it does keep kids safe, but at the same time, I feel like having a license for an e-bike is a little kill because a lot of kids honestly won't be able to take that class. I know I'll be able to pass the class, but I don't know if my friends will, and then that's the problem because it's going to be hard to take them around places. Just enjoy our time like we always do. And when it comes to rule enforcement for e-bikes, Trey and his friends want some consideration. Just having the cops give reminders, not just come over and just ride a ticket right away. It's pretty, pretty hurtful actually to the community. The family of the 15 year old that was killed last week here in Encinitas that was riding the e-bike. Some of those family members are here and they've asked for supporters to come so that they can weigh in on this emergency declaration and what's next for Encinitas when it comes to e-bikes. So here's the plan so far. They're going to start an informational campaign and then police and sheriff's deputies, law enforcement here will start enforcing the rules of the road for drivers as well as e-bike riders. You can find all of the rules that you need on our website, CBS8.com. Kirsten, you talked about the city considering mandatory classes for some people. Are there already classes e-bike riders can take to learn about safety before they end up in a violation? That's right. There are classes that you can take right now. The next class is offered by the city of Encinitas and the San Diego County Bicycle Coalition. That class is July 15th and there will be another one on August 19th. This information is also on our website, CBS8.com. Back to you, Jesse. All right, something to keep an eye on. Kirsten Holmes live for us in Encinitas tonight. Kirsten, thank you.